Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, ARM suddenly announced a change in the rules, increasing the licensing fee for its latest ARM v9 architecture by 300%. This move was like a bombshell, instantly causing a stir in the global chip industry. As a giant in the field of chip architecture, ARM's architecture is widely used in various electronic products, from smartphones to tablets, from IoT devices to data centers, almost everywhere. This sudden and significant price increase has undoubtedly dealt a heavy blow to many chip companies that rely on the ARM architecture. ARM has always dominated the mobile chip field with its low power consumption, high performance, low cost and open licensing model. About 95% of the world's mobile chips use the ARM architecture. Industry giants such as Qualcomm, Apple, and MediaTek are all ARM's deep partners. They have developed one high-performance chip product after another based on the ARM architecture. However, the sudden price increase of ARM has broken the original market balance and put these companies in a dilemma. For Chinese chip companies, this news is even more worrying. In recent years, China's chip industry has developed rapidly and has occupied an increasingly important position in the global chip market. But it cannot be ignored that many domestic chip companies have a high degree of dependence on the ARM architecture. The price increase of ARM will undoubtedly greatly increase the R&D costs of these companies, compress profit margins, and may even affect the survival and development of companies. In such a severe situation, where should Chinese chip companies go? ARM uses a reduced instruction set, risk, with fixed instruction length, fewer types, fast execution speed, and low power consumption. It is suitable for mobile devices that are sensitive to power consumption and do not have particularly high performance requirements. X86 uses a complex instruction set, CISC, with variable instruction length and powerful functions. One instruction can complete complex operations. It is suitable for desktop computers, servers and other devices with extremely high performance requirements. In the PC market, Intel's X86 architecture occupies a dominant position and has long monopolized more than 90% of the global market share. In the server field, x86 also occupies an important position. However, in recent years, the ARM architecture has gradually emerged in the server market with its advantages such as low power consumption and high concurrency. In the field of mobile devices, the ARM architecture is the undisputed king. About 95% of the world's mobile chips use the ARM architecture. Mobile chips from manufacturers such as Qualcomm, Apple, and MediaTek are all developed based on the ARM architecture, which even threatens the position of the x86 architecture in the desktop market. The boss behind ARM is Japan's SoftBank Group. Its head, Masayoshi Sun, has suffered major setbacks in the investment field in recent years. Masayoshi Sun's personal losses have reached more than 70 billion US dollars, or about 510 billion yuan. The group's financial situation is precarious. If it cannot be sold, SoftBank can only increase revenue through ARM to ease the group's financial pressure. Competition in the chip industry is becoming increasingly fierce. In addition to the traditional x86 architecture, which continues to dominate the PC and server markets, the emerging open-source chip instruction set risk v architecture is gradually rising. Free and open-source has attracted the attention and investment of many companies. Giants such as Huawei, Alibaba, and Intel have joined the risk v camp, which poses a potential threat to ARM's market share. In order to maintain its leading position in the competition, ARM, on the one hand, increases licensing fees to obtain more funds for technology research and development and market expansion, and on the other hand, it personally develops complete chips to try to get a share of the chip manufacturing field, 
further consolidate its position in the industry, and enhance its competitiveness. The sharp increase in arms licensing fees will directly lead to a sharp increase in the R&D costs of Chinese chip companies. For many domestic chip companies, a 300% increase in licensing fees means that companies' investment in chip research and development will increase significantly. Take a medium-sized chip company as an example. Assuming that its original annual fee for ARM architecture licensing is 10 million yuan, it will have to pay 40 million yuan after the price increase. The additional 30 million yuan in costs will undoubtedly put a huge pressure on the company's financial situation. The increase in costs will inevitably compress the company's profit margins. In the case of relatively stable market prices, companies may have to increase product prices in order to maintain profitability. However, in the highly competitive chip market, price increases are not easy, which may lead to a decline in the competitiveness of corporate products in the market and market share being eroded by competitors. ARM announced that it would develop its own chips. This move undoubtedly destroyed the original cooperation ecology. As an architecture supplier for many chip companies, ARM has always maintained a cooperative relationship with customers. However, when ARM personally developed complete chips, its relationship with customers changed from cooperation to competition, which made Chinese chip companies that rely on ARM architecture face the risk of supply uncertainty. If ARM gives priority to supplying its own chips, Domestic chip companies may be restricted in obtaining ARM architecture technical support and related resources, which will not only affect the production and delivery of existing products, but also hinder the development progress of new products, putting them in a passive position in market competition. For example, in the fields of 5G communication chips and artificial intelligence chips, if companies cannot obtain upgrade support for ARM architecture in a timely manner, their product performance and technical level may lag behind their competitors. How do Chinese companies respond? Faced with the impact of arms price increase, Chinese chip companies should deeply realize the urgency and importance of independent research and development. Increasing investment in core technical links such as chip architecture, design, and manufacturing is the key to getting rid of external technology dependence and achieving sustainable development. Companies should actively form high-level R&D teams, attract outstanding talents at home and abroad, strengthen cooperation with universities and scientific research institutions, and jointly overcome technical difficulties. For example, after suffering external sanctions, Huawei increased its investment in chip research and development launched a series of chip products with independent intellectual property rights, and made important breakthroughs in 5G communications, artificial intelligence and other fields. Through independent research and development, enterprises can not only reduce their dependence on the ARM architecture, but also master core technologies, improve the competitiveness and added value of products, and win more space for their own development. As an emerging free and open source chip instruction set, the RISC-V architecture has many advantages and provides new development opportunities for Chinese chip companies. At present, Huawei, Alibaba, Intel and other companies have joined the RISC-V camp, promoting the development and application of the architecture. Chinese chip companies should actively pay attention to the development of the RISC-V architecture increase R&D investment in this field, and deploy related technologies and products. At present, the RISC-V ecosystem has become the Chinese camp, and most of its members are Chinese companies. This is China's advantage. Therefore, the sudden price increase of ARM is self-destructive. What do you think of this?